Hello and welcome to the webinar of the month. Today we are talking about the complete guide to GA4, understanding your business and marketing data. We're gonna be talking about Google Analytics 4 and why, what it is or why they switched over to GA4 and do a quick comparison of GA4 to Universal Analytics. We're gonna do some trends in GA4 and an initial GA4 setup guide for anybody that is unsure on how to migrate over to that new platform. So if you have been postponing the transition, now is the time. Google is now in the transition of moving everyone over from Google Analytics Universal to GA4. If you haven't already switched over, it is happening as we speak. So if you're watching this webinar recording, this may have already happened to you and a lot of this information may be out of date, but for anybody that hasn't switched over or is in that process, this will be helpful to you. The importance of GA4 or Google Analytics 4 is a number of things. GA4 is the newest version of analytics and it's a whole new generation of analytics that allows marketers and business owners and website owners to that extent to effectively analyze the important metrics that are happening from your users or from the traffic that is being driven to your site. Next, there are cross-channel measurements. So GA4 can track the entire customer journey across multiple platforms, which is vital. It is AI driven and it has a predictive analytics. So GA4 leverages AI and machine learning to provide more detailed insights into how users interact with the website and apps. Privacy first tracking. So GA4 is focused on customer privacy. And that is important because of the time we're in and some of the latest privacy laws like you hear in the European Union, the GDPR and a lot of the other privacy laws that are happening now, GA4 helps and rides alongside of that. And then the predictive audience targeting. Audiences in GA4 are allowed to be targeted holistically and segmented for deeper and more vital and critical marketing campaigns. Just a quick comparison between Google Analytics Universal versus GA4. In Google Analytics, there are two metrics, total users and new users, where in GA4, you have total users, active users, and new users. And you'll see here on the chart, we have explanations for Universal Analytics versus GA4. So for total users, primary user metrics in UA, total users of a total number of users, whereas in GA4, you have the total number of unique users who log an event. And we're going to talk a little bit about events in just a second. So with new users, you have the number of users who interacted with your site for the first time, where in GA4, you have the number of users who interacted with your site or launched your app for the first time. This metric is measured by the number of unique, new unique users and it's the first open or first visit to an event, which we're going to talk about in event in just a second. And then the active users, you don't have that in Universal, but in GA4, you have a number of analytics and metrics where they track the active users in terms of the engagement, first opens, first use, and all of that for the events. Total events, this is for universal analytics events, has a category, action, or and or label, and its own hit type. For example, an event can be set up to register that a sign up button has been clicked. The event might have a category or a CTA call to action, and that is what is deemed as an event in universal. In GA4, an event count, Every hit is an event. So whereas in Universal, it had a specific term for an event, whereas in GA4, every time anyone hits your site, an event is created. So every hit is an event in GA4, 
and there's no notion of category, action, or label. For example, when somebody, when someone views one of your website pages, a page view event is tricky. All actions are events. Each event name is not necessarily unique. In fact, best practice to reuse the same event name many times, differentiating the event by the parameter values collected. For example, a sign up might have an event name of sign up with parameters, page locations, product, form ID, et cetera. The same event name could be used on every sign up button across the site, whereas in UA, you would only use unique event names for each button. So with GA4, it's allowing you to track the user journey more comprehensively and understand what is actually happening across your site and across multiple platforms, where it's a little harder or more cumbersome to do that on Universal. Page views were the most important metric. With GA4, all measurements are events. Instead of seeing generalized data, you can now gain a fuller understanding, like I, like I just talked about, a comprehensive view of the user interaction and better understand the user journey throughout your Apple website. Every action user take or traffic that comes to your site is an event. And so those sessions are easier logged and cataloged and the user journey is easier to understand. And that helps you in your marketing efforts to understand what's going right, what's going wrong, because you're able to track the user journey comprehensively across all platforms, whether it be website, apps, social media, traffic that comes in, wherever the user finds your website or app is more easily trackable. And now you can better understand how the user found your site and how to react and how to turn that action and capitalize on that for better user journey. All measurements are events in GA4. Data collection, like I said, like you'll hear over and over, events is where you any action that happens from the user or from traffic is cataloged and measured. So this data collection model gives GA4 an edge over its predecessor because the behavior across multiple devices and building custom reports is more comprehensive in its nature because there's a lot more data that you're having to look at. But at the end of the day, it helps you organize and it helps you understand what the end user is trying to do. Now you can create marketing campaigns that directly tie into what the user is looking for and what you want to get out of your marketing efforts. You also get predictive insights. While looking at past behaviors and clarifying your audience, it may not have told you the whole picture or the whole story with GA4. You, now you can do predictive metrics because it helps you in data-driven decisions at a larger scale. So for example, Google uses machine learning and GA4 uses that information to fill in the data to help you predict what may happen in the purchase. And so that helps you understand where the end user, what they're looking at, what they're doing, and then GA4 helps you to predict what may take place. Also, it helps you to determine trends. So now by looking at that same data set, you can create a trend or based on X, Y, Z, now I can create ABC because from the trend that we saw from the users that were visiting the site and the traffic that was being drawn to our site or to our app, we saw X, Y, Z happening. Now we can create either a CTA or a call to action to make sure that they are clicking on where we want them to click on or they're taking the action that we want them to take. And those automated insights and that AI that's in GA4 helps you to understand the trend and what's happening with the user journey. And so now you can better understand the trend and create CTAs and call to actions and actions that lead to the outcome that you want to have. With the new GA4, you have cross device tracking. So the new data model enables GA4 to consistently store 
data on multiple sources, multiple devices, platforms, and report back into the same analytics property for further analysis. So now you have all this information in one place. So that's why it may be information overload, but it's helping you to see through a number of different channels what's happening. And now you can take that information and identify gaps and then be able to turn and use that into different identifiers and enable you to collect this information and create a single unified cross-device user journey. So now you're taking all this information that you used to have in Google Analytics Universal, which you cannot, which you have to piece together now with the AI and with GA4 is helping you piece all this information together to understand the customer journey, to see how you can now apply that to creating better CTAs, better marketing campaigns to get at the information that you're really looking for, to get the outcome that you so desire. Cross-device tracking is at the heart of GA4, and it takes all of this information from the web and the app into one property, and it helps you analyze all of this data. That, this is the heart of GA4, is gathering all of this information from different sources and being able to use AI and predictive analysis to help you better outline your marketing efforts and create CTAs that will create actions that you really want or the outcomes that you're looking for. Another top trend is privacy. GA4 is focused on customer privacy. And as I talked about, there are a number of laws out there. And then you're talking about the European Union with the GDPR that's taking place and privacy is vital in GA4. Compared to universal analytics, GA4 takes privacy to the utmost. These are just a few of the areas here that we highlighted, but there are more. Uh, for instance, like IP addresses are no longer tracked like they used to be, and you can easily delete information on a particular user at, at a higher level of accuracy than you used to do before. So privacy is of the utmost, and these are just a few of the elements here. One of the big changes in GA4 is data retention. It used to hold on to this information for an unlimited amount of time. Now you only have 14 months. And so for marketers that may be watching this, it may freak them out, but there are other ways around that. Like they have Google Data Studio that you can put that information into and holds on to that. But for the end user, it helps them because it really emphasizes privacy. Like like I had just talked about. And that's the big change with GA4 is really understanding that user privacy is at the utmost and benefiting that is critical. And there's no more data sampling and limited number of dimensions, errors, and past data. Now for marketers may understand a lot of this. For remodelers, this is not information that you may off the top of your head, but this is information that on the marketing side, we used to hold on to to help us understand and make informed marketing decisions. But now that GA4 is comprehensive and it has the AI component and it gathers all of this information into events like I just talked about, now all this information is, makes it easier for us to understand this information and make informed decisions faster than we did with Universal. Data is what drives SEO and SEO on big data. This is the year of analytics and the change from universal, Google Universal to GA4. So understanding this information helps not only marketers, but remodelers that, and designers that do their own marketing and understand the power of SEO to be able to take this user data and the traffic and turn it into informative CTAs, call to actions, and marketing campaigns that really will work for you at the end of the day. GA4 allows you to build custom audiences and segment them based on the site, visitors' behavior, and interests. And this is powerful because now you can take all this information and the users and the user journey understand the audience and build a custom segment and create marketing campaigns directed specifically 
to the audience that you're looking for. So now it can help you with your email campaign. So you don't have to be as generic as you used to be. You can create email campaigns or marketing campaigns directed at the user and what they're looking for. Because now you better understand that user journey and creating call to actions that speak specifically to them. And this helps when you're creating Google ads. And so when you're doing any type of Google ads by understanding this information, now you can create an ad and see and CTAs within the ad that speak exactly to what the end user is looking for. So they're more likely to click on the ad and take action on what you're selling or what the service or the product that you have than in the past because you have a better understanding of the customer journey. So what is a GA4 property? In Google Analytics, that a property refers to a website or app which is linked to a unique tracking code. Therefore, as GA4 has a different style of tracking code to Universal Analytics, where Universal had its own tracking code, we need to set up new properties for GA4. Setting up GA4, if you have not already, the first step is to Go to googleanalytics.com, create a new account and property for your site. Alternatively, if you already have Universal, all you got to do is navigate to your admin area and then click on GA4 Setup Assistant and it will help walk you through that process. Either way, whether you have it or not for the remodeler or designer that's doing it themselves, they have a walkthrough assistant to help you set all of this up on your website. If you have, if you're a remodeler designer listening and you have marketing help either in house or you have marketing agency that you're working with, they already understand all of this and set all of this up on your behalf. Or you could just check with them to make sure they follow the step. But it's a setup assistant that helps you throughout this process. The next few slides here just show you a lot about that process on what you need to collect the tag installations and setting up the IDs and all. Like I said, if you're doing this for the first time, once you click on the assist GA4 assistant, it's gonna walk you through a lot of this, but these are just slides to show you what is happening throughout this process. If you have marketing help, they're already doing a lot of this on your behalf. And these are just some more slides showing you about the tag manager. And like I said, all of this is about, because there's a lot more data in GA4 than there was in Google Analytics Universal. It's just a lot more data. And so it's a little more on the setup side, but on the opposite side is going to actually help you to understand and take all of this data from all of these areas and then put it all in one space so you can understand it and do predictive analytics and help you understand the true customer journey where we had to fill in gaps in the past. Now we can truly understand what the customer journey is and create marketing campaigns, create Google ads that respond to that customer journey and have predictive trends on based on XYZ. Now we can better predict what will happen if they take these steps, what will happen to outcome. And that's really what we're after. More slides on the setup process. But if you need any help with this at all, feel free to reach out to us. We're here to help. You have here the info email. Have somebody from my team reach out to help you get GA4 set up because this is a powerful tool that will help take your marketing to the next level. Because now, unlike in the past with Google Analytics Universal, where we had to guess at a lot of things, now we have information and data that is going to help us make better informed marketing decisions to get the outcomes we want from our marketing campaigns. So whether we're doing SEO, whether we're doing Google ads, whether we're doing social media, whatever it is on the marketing side, this information now helps us better understand the customer journey. So we could create CTAs, call to actions that resonate with our end user, and we could get the outcomes that we're looking for. Again, if you need our help with any of this, feel free to reach out. You have the email and the number here, or you can reach out to anybody on my team and we'll be happy to help. And if you need help with any of the other services we offer here, feel free to reach out to us. We're here to help. All right. Have a good day.